everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining and if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every week on fashion, lifestyle, beauty, all that good stuff. So if that does sound of interest to you, be sure to stick around and subscribe down below. Today's video is a what I eat in a day, if you haven't guessed from the title. I am super excited to film this because I've been obsessed with watching people's what I eat in a day. So yeah, I'm really excited to film this and kind of show you what I'm eating, maybe give you some inspo, because I definitely get inspo when I watch it. So I hope I can give you some too. But yeah, without any more rambling, let's get into the video. So before I kind of get into this video, I just wanted to put like a little trigger warning that I am going to be talking about calories, counting my calories, being healthy, exercising, all that kind of stuff within this video. So if that is something that you know that you don't like or makes you feel a bit rubbish or you just don't like to hear about it, then please feel free to click off this video. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. I don't want to make anyone feel shit from watching this. So if you know that that is going to sort of trigger you and make you feel a bit down then please feel free to click off this video i am just enjoying my oat milk latte this is something that i have pretty much every morning so yeah for breakfast i always have an oat milk latte and then today for breakfast i feel like making myself cocoa pops and oat milk which i am obsessed with at the moment it's my go-to breakfast the problem is when i find a breakfast i absolutely love i literally eat it every day until i'm sick of it so i'm sure that's what's gonna happen okay so my cereal is made as you did see in the video i do measure out my cereal as i mentioned a little bit um briefly beforehand i am actually tracking my calories this is something that I've had sort of like mixed feelings about for a long time. I have tried it before, and when I tried it before, it just made me feel so rubbish. So it's not really something that I choose to do lightly, like I have to really think about it. So in terms of calories and stuff at the moment for me, I'm choosing to do 1600 calories per day. I found this like calorie calculator online and put all my details in, in terms of like my weight, my height, how often I exercise. And that was kind of the number that it came up with in terms of calories I should be eating in order to be losing weight. Obviously everyone is different. So please don't watch this video and think that you have to be eating 1600 calories because you may need more, you may need less. It's totally dependent on your body and not everyone is the same so yeah 1600 calories for me if I'm honest I've actually been really really good with it I think because I'm working from home it's a lot easier to make like eat like nicer meals and be able to kind of scan things and stuff rather than just guessing I am logging all my food on my fitness pal which I'll show you a bit later on but yeah I as I said I used to feel really sad and really hungry when I did it before and I think that's just because I wasn't eating enough calories and I was too much in a calorie deficit if that makes sense so now that I've kind of gone about it properly I actually don't feel too bad and I'm not restricting myself. I think beforehand I used to think if I'm dieting, I can't have chocolate, I can't have, you know, McDonald's or anything like that. And I still eat that and I'm still within my calories. I also wanted to do this video just to show you that even when you are in a calorie deficit and you're exercising and you are being healthy, you can still eat all the foods that you want to. I haven't stopped myself from eating anything. And if I go over my calories on one day, I just make sure that I don't go over it again the next day, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's kind of like a brief outline. I feel like I ramble a lot about that. And I hope that nothing I've said has like offended anyone or is wrong. I'm not a health professional. I'm purely just doing this off of my own research. So please don't come for me in the comments. But yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy my cereal. I am working from home, so I'm gonna crack on with some work and I will check back in with you at lunchtime. 
Okay, so it is now 12.36 in the afternoon, which means it's lunchtime finally. I am starving, I'm so hungry. I am also on my period, so I feel like that just makes me even more hungry than I normally would be. So for lunch today, I am fancying sandwich thins. You can actually hear my stomach rumbling. I've been really enjoying sandwich thins lately. They're like the Warburton's ones, because I, I usually would have wraps or bread, but I just found that they would make me quite bloated and yeah, for lunch I found that it ended up being quite heavy, me having sandwiches and wraps and stuff, so these are a really nice alternative if you do feel that like bread and stuff does bloat you quite a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna have one of those I think with some like tuna sweet corn in, a bit of salad and some snacks definitely because I'm so hungry. But yeah, let's go and make some lunch. Okay, so you would have just seen me making my lunch then I literally just had one of those sandwich things with some tuna, sweet corn, a bit of salad I then have my hummus chips and a chocolate bar as I said earlier I don't restrict myself from having anything if I want it I have it but within my calories these crisps are the best things ever I actually got these in Aldi and they come in like loads of different flavors but they're really healthy and they taste so good I think they're about 115 calories a bag and they just taste really really nice also if you're wondering why i'm constantly eating in my bedroom both myself and kieran are working from home at the moment so he has his sort of like computer set up in our lounge kitchen and i work off of my makeup desk in the bedroom and it's very rare that he's not on a call so i tend to just stay in the bedroom for majority of the day check the tv on on my lunch break and all that good stuff so that is why i spend a majority of my time in here i also drink about three of these a day i don't know whether that is enough or whether that is the like good amount to be drinking i don't have a problem drinking water i literally drink water all the time i don't like squash or fizzy drinks or anything so getting my water in is not a problem for me at all I used to have a really bad relationship with food. I used to see food as something that was gonna make me ill. So my diet was incredibly restrictive and I never really ate anything other than like packet noodles, packet pastas. That was literally my diet all the time. I never ate breakfast. I had a tiny lunch and then that would be my dinner. So it is actually quite a good thing for me that I'm counting my calories now because I'm able to kind of experiment with new foods, make new recipes. I have a much better relationship with food, which is why I kind of decided that now was the good time to start kind of calorie counting. I feel like I've said calorie counting a lot in this video. I'm so sorry. I'm going to sit here, finish my lunch, watch a bit of TV and catch up on some stuff. And then I'll probably check in with you when I have a snack because around three o'clock I want snacks so I'll check in with you then. So just me jumping back having my apple. Tell me something that is better than an apple out the fridge. All my apples are in the fridge all the time and they just taste so good like I'm literally obsessed. But I wanted to jump on because I'm halfway through watching Marcella the third season I watched the first two, the first one I loved, the second one was okay but the ending was so flipping weird that I was just like, what? Like it literally baffled me the ending so I was really unimpressed. But I've just started watching the third season and I can't decide whether I'm like, oh this is really good or this is really over the top. Let me know down below in the comments if you've watched it because I'm halfway, well yeah, halfway through episode three and I don't know. You would know it's her, wouldn't you? Like, her disguise is really not that much of a deal, given that she's working undercover for these druggies. 
I'm sure they would be able to find out whether or not she actually died in a fire because they've literally just stuck a blonde wig on her. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you've watched it because so far I'm not sold. I'm not sold. Okay, so it is now like six o'clock-ish, I think. And I am once again absolutely starving. I've just put friends on the TV if you can hear something in the background. <laughs> um, so yeah, the lighting in here, by the way, is absolutely horrific. So I apologize in advance. But today I am going to have stir fry. I made it the other week and is my tripod gonna stay up there? Yeah. So I made it the other week and it literally tasted like chow mein from the Chinese. Chinese chow mein is literally my favourite thing ever. Also, excuse the top, I'm like in my comfies now. It's my favourite thing ever and I really wanted to like recreate it. So I'm pescatarian, so I either have corn chicken or prawns in my stir fry. Today is prawns. And then I just add in like a load of veg, mushrooms, spring onion, regular onion, garlic and noodles and loads and loads of soy sauce. I love like Japanese Chinese food, it's so good. And I literally drown it in soy sauce and it's absolutely delicious. So I am gonna make that for dinner. Obviously I'm gonna show you all the bits that I cut up and put in the pan and whatever and like how I kind of make it, I guess. I thought that would be a nice dinner to kind of round off this video. I don't know about anyone else though, but when it comes to dinner, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll have this for dinner, but then it's like, what am I having for dessert? Like, what have we got in the cupboard in terms of treats, chocolate? Like, what is there for me to have for dessert? So yeah, I'm always, I'm always about the afters. I love having a sweet treat and these are actually like really low in cows. So let me get them out of the freezer, I'll show you. So they are these cookies and cream ice creams. They're basically like a knockoff version of the Oreo ice creams, but like two pound cheaper. So yeah, when I saw these in Aldi the other day, I was like, I need to get those. These are only 109 calories, which means they fit into like my calorie deficit really, really well, which is super good because like I said, I don't like to restrict myself or anything. And these are like the perfect, like sweet snack to have in the evening. So I know for sure this is what I'm gonna be having after my stir fry. But for the time being, let's get into the little time-lapse of me making my dinner. Okay, so it is now the next day and I totally forgot to film an outro so that is exactly what I'm doing now hence the sort of different outfit the change in bedding you get me so yeah that was basically the end of the video I think the last thing you saw was like me making my stir fry and obviously you knew what I was having for dessert because I had to show you that before because they are just so so good so if you're in Aldi make sure you pick up those ice creams I did also promise that I was going to show you through my fitness pal so if it focuses so as you can see i've got my dinner listed my lunch listed and then also my breakfast my total calories yesterday was 1313 so i was slightly under my calorie deficit but i'm not really too fussed because i didn't stop myself from eating anything i had chocolate i had ice cream so it, it is what it is but yeah I really really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I really hope that I inspired some of you maybe to make some of the things that I made in this video as I said I love watching them purely for that reason and I'm just a bit nosy so yeah I really really hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to give the video a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below but that is it from me I really hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video bye Oh, 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 oh,